Pleasant good morning to you. Remember I told you we have to continue the lockdown. Listen. Right, listen to this. Don't rebel against the lockdown. No, don't do that. It helps. Why I say that? Well, I'm talking on behalf of the health people. The lockdown helps. It helps to control the disease. But listen to, I continue, suggestions that we need to focus on and we need to deal with if we are going to be less stressed out during the lockdown. Now face it, face it. During the lockdown, we need to pay keen attention to the eight laws of health. Yes, you need to pay keen attention to them. And one of the laws of health says that we need to trust God and we also need to get some sunshine. Remember that, that's important, laws of health. Uh, then, uh, if you live where you can get a chance to just go into the open, I'm not talking about going somewhere else, your yard space, you can go into the open, do that. It's going to help you in terms of your exercise program. And while you're at it, remember it's good to establish and to take care of a kitchen garden under the lockdown. Then watch this. You must watch your sleep pattern. Listen, a lot of people sleep in very little uh, during the lockdown because uh, they are thinking I have all this time. But listen, this human body has a biological clock. And you must understand uh, that. Uh, the 888 theory, which goes especially for school children, which says eight hours uh, sleeping, eight hours at home, and then eight hours in front of the screen, Zoom time. Uh, remember, you got to be able to balance that and don't take too many hours and put into entertainment. You got to watch your sleep time uh, and the early hours of the night. That is the best time to sleep. Uh, then if you have a wife, talking about the lockdown, if you have a wife uh, or you live with a partner, you must remember this is the time for you to focus on treating your partner in a really good way. This is not the time to treat them anyhow. Not a time to ruffle the feathers. Uh, you got to be comfortable with this, these loved ones, your partner or your children. If you have children uh, living with you or grandchildren, you must find some time to play with them. That is going to help uh, in this boring situation. Uh, then, uh, remember there are some projects you had left undone. Maybe like scrubbing the cupboard, scrubbing the step repairing something, uh, this is the time for you to focus on doing that. Uh, then, uh, listen to this one. This one helps me so much. When I have to sit, working at home, uh, in front of the Zoom and doing stuff, listen, I make sure I dress as if I'm going to an office. Why I do that? Uh, you see, my dress speaks to my brain and it causes me to get into a working mode. So I don't put on any old thing. I dress even down to socks and shoes sometimes if I am at home at a Zoom meeting because my dress psychologically does something in terms of saying to me, Charles, you are at work. Uh, my dress commands my brain. Uh, then, uh, you must find time to memorize something during the lockdown. Uh, then find time to call and encourage at least one person during the day. Don't focus on yourself alone. There are people who are worse off than you. Find some time to encourage and to call and to pray with somebody perhaps who is not well or maybe they are, they are well physically but psychologically something is bothering them. And then remember to smile often. Go to the mirror sometimes and just smile and say, God, in spite of the lockdown, I thank you. I thank you, God, for allowing me to be alive. The text I want you to remember is 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 7, which says, Casting all your cares upon him, for he, God, careth for you. And please remember that even though you're in the lockdown, you can still recite 
Psalm 30, 34 and verse 7, uh, which says, either 7 or 8, uh, uh, verse 8, which says, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. God and Father, in spite of the lockdown, help somebody to be able to trust you more and to taste and see that you are good and to be able to cast their tears upon you. Help them not to worry because worry doesn't get us out of this situation. Guide us and encourage us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. May God richly bless you. Take the world, but give me Jesus. All its joys are but a name. But his love abided ever through the eternal years the same. Oh, the height and depth of mercy, oh, the length and breadth of love, oh, the fullness of redemption, pleasure of life above.